Gathered friends, listen again to our legend of the Bionicle. In the time before time, six mighty Toa vanquished the Makuta, encasing him in protodermis, held tight by the force of their combined elemental powers. Before becoming Turaga, the Toa united in a dutiful pledge to rescue the Matoran who were imprisoned by the Makuta. And so they returned to their once glorious home with every intention of enacting a great rescue. But Makuta had not left the sleeping Matoran unprotected. Their resting place was guarded by a ruthless king, a horde of poisoners, and a malevolent queen. And now the noble Toa must face a web of shadows. <coughs> it would appear there was an error in our transport. Pilot error. Hey! I was only order taken. The comma was the one order given. No need to be critical, Matau. Regardless of how gracefully we made it here. Whatever. Uh, hey, could uh, somebody dig me up? There you go. Oh, thanks. It's what I do. Are we gonna stand around all night? Or are we going to rescue the Matoran? What's with all the webs? Not exactly encouraging my Toa hero spirit. What is that all about? Huh? Was the old neighborhood. The archive must have been breached. What did you have in there? Everything. Most of it dangerous. Rahi? The Onu Metro archive houses a specimen of every Rahi beast ever discovered. At least, <laughs> it used to. And the webs? Viserac. Nasty creatures. Coming from you? <laughs> That's not good. But what does it change? Nothing. We go to the Colosseum, we rescue the Matoran, we leave. Or we'll get pulverized. It is a possibility. We faced the Makuta and won. I really doubt a few crusty relics are gonna give us much trouble. Agreed? Well, you think we should. Follow me! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Hurt. Everyone okay? Yeah, we're right behind you, fearless. 
service leader, literally. Bickering won't get us out of this, Mato. No, but think talking before charging straight into a trap might have. If you have something to say, Mato, say it. Forget it. Uh, oh, what's that? We'll soon find out. <laughs> Let me guess, Miserac? Yeah, or in their tongue, the stealers of life. Do they even have tongue? All I see are teeth. Okama. Oh, we do. It's nothing important, I hope. Seeing as you're late, this had better be good. <laughs> Toa? <laughs> so, they've returned for the Matoran. That now belong to me. I assume you're telling me this without twitching uncontrollably means the Toa have already been captured. Be so simple, Sidora. Rudaka, my queen. No, not your queen. Not yet. Oh, of course, formalities. You have something to say? Only that leaders are judged in time by the quality of their enemies. History teaches us this. The Toa? Fantastic adversary, my king, worthy of your rule, and therefore a demise that will be remembered and spoken about for all time. I suppose I could allow the situation to become a little more legendary. I have always admired your judgment. Only be sure your method allows some proof. For posterity's sake. Proof? Bring me their bodies. That's encouraging. Well, fire spitter, we can't say you didn't show us the city. Of course, we can say that you got us captured, poisoned, and seeing as they don't think we've been brought up here for the view, imminently smashed down. <laughs> he agrees. This is not Fakama's fault. <sighs> I tried to lead you as best I could. I wish I was better at it. But if I've learned one thing from all we've been through, I am what I am. 
And no matter how much I might want to, I can't just change. you all down again Happened to me. Answer me. I am a Toa. <laughs> Not exactly. everybody. Hello? Hello? Darn Vakama. Why'd you ever listen to him? Uh, can't believe it. No, no. This isn't me. I can't be ugly. That's what friends do. He is Absolutely. right. I don't hear you saying that, Smelthead. What's the matter? Too busy cooking up another master plan? I'm through making plans. Well, that's the first good thing I've heard since I've been hideous. <sighs> Regardless of how we look, it might be better if we use our energy to find out why we've become... <sighs> whatever it is we are. Yes, the sooner we do that, the sooner we can rescue the Matoran. And how are we gonna do that when we're the ones who need saving? If 
you are wise. If you wish to be your old selves again, you will listen. The Choa have returned, as you said they would. Even now, their broken bodies are being brought to me. So I may drain them of their elemental powers. Powers I will use to shatter the wretched seal that keeps us apart. And then there will be no need for a worthless ruler like Sidorak, who would wash his hands of conflict rather than dirty them with it. Together, you and I will teach the sleeping Matoran to obey your will. What is it? The Toa? Why do you speak of them as if they're still alive? Brothers, we must be patient. Kitongu. The Kitongu? <laughs> Kitongu is a most honorable creature and skilled in the ways of venoms, not to mention our only hope to stand against the Vizarak Horde. If you are to be the Toa you once were, it is Kitongu you must seek. But what are we now? Cordica venom courses within you. If it is not neutralized, it will take root. And Hordika you will be forever. Like you? I am a Rahaga. Norik is my name. And this is Dahaki, Bomanga, Pulas, Pooks. <laughs> and Iruni. Rahaga, can you take us to this Kitongu? <laughs> Iruni! I don't understand. What Iruni so inappropriately suggests is that this will be difficult. We Rahaga have come to Metru Nui in search of Kitongu ourselves. And there are those that, well, doubt his existence entirely. And you? I believe. Then so must we. Whoa there, sister. Shouldn't we think talk about this? You know, group-like. What do you say, Mask Melter? I say we returned to Metronui to rescue the Matoran. I'd go on safari. And <laughs> you have a way to do this? Perhaps using your new Hordika powers. Powers you have not yet learned to use. <laughs> Akama? I will talk with him. That it meant you no harm. I beg to differ. It was just frightened. Muak are loners by nature and uncomfortable being close to others. There's a bit of them in you. Uh, careful with that. Uh, it's a most powerful tool. I'll be sure to learn how to make good use of it, wise one. And what about your friends? Former friends. They think being a leader is so easy, they can try it themselves. True, but they won't succeed without you. 
nor you without them. And how do you know that? I don't. But the great spirit does. Unity, duty, destiny. It starts with unity. If you, Toa, are to rescue the Matoran, you must do so together. This is something you can't change. Watch me. Vakama? Oh, Norik. It is good you're back. Mm, Vakama has a lot on his mind. We must give him time to find his destiny. Yeah, what if he finds a really bad one? Uh, now then, we should begin our search for Kitongu at once. Right! Kitongu! Getting turned back into our old handsome selves. Let's get on that. But where to start? <laughs> Somewhere you know well. I can do it alone. I'll show them all. Is that your best shot? to me you are becoming yeah but what a friend or a foe that's for you to decide and why I've invited you here some invitation then perhaps this one will be more to your liking. I've a proposal for you. And if I don't want to hear it? Be reasonable, Vakama. How do you know my name? I know a great deal about you. What harm could come from listening? The Great Temple? I'm sure it could have helped our old Toa selves, but now we'll never find a way to change back if you keep talking like that. You're right. I'm sorry. I don't know what's gotten into me. Oh, that's right. Some kind of monster! Oh, Matto. If you're quite done, we should go inside. Secrecy is such a burden, but Sidorak mustn't know we speak. Sidorak? Ruler of the Viserak. And he doesn't know you've captured me? Not yet. <laughs> Some leader. Precisely. You're not worried they're going to tell him you said that? They are loyal to me. Right. Like you are to Sidorak? Yes. They obey me because I am strong. They fear me and therefore do not dare to question my authority. That is leadership, Fakama. That is how the other Toa should treat you. Maybe then they would give you the respect you deserve. The Visorak Horde is countless, Vakama. They feel the weakness of their king's voice. I trust my fellow Toa to... To do what? Hold you back? 
They're not worthy of a leader like you, which is why I've brought you here. chance to find Kitongo lies within the temple. Is something wrong? It might be best if we wait here. The great temple is sacred to Toa. Given what has happened to us, I am not sure it would be right. I understand. Our work here will not go unnoticed. You must guard the gates. We need until tomorrow morning. Consider it done. Hey, wait. Y you know, I think we should talk about this. No! When I was Matoran, Tarmetru was my whole world. It meant everything to me. It still does. It can be your home again, Vakama. To rule as you see fit. All you need to do is lead those who will obey you properly. Lead the Vizorak Horde. I... I don't know. I understand your reluctance. You require proof. Throw yourselves off the edge! Obedience. This is but the first of many lessons I can teach you. And this is something your king would allow? There is a way. Six ways. I'm listening. Follow the tears. Tongo tears that reach the sky. Are you all right, Gaaki? Norek, I heard something. Probably just my approach. Age makes us loud as well as wise. No, this was a creature. Vizorak? Mm. I'm sure it's nothing. This is a very elaborate translation. I guess I have been working hard lately. Gather our brothers and go outside. I'll be right behind you. I doubt you'd recognize me. Ooh. I've got some bad news. Gaaki is not going to find her brothers upstairs. What have you done with them? Nothing. Here. It's not too late, Vakama. You don't have to do this. Give me one reason I shouldn't. The other Toa. They need you to lead them. Always what's best for the others. She was right about them, Norik. About me. Who have you been talking to, Vakama? Who's put these thoughts in your head? You'll find out soon enough. I'm counting on it. I don't understand. You don't have to understand the message, Norik. Just carry it. This message? What is it?
Yorick said they'd be done by daybreak. Did anyone see anything last night? Nothing. Lots of nothing. Yeah, boring. I don't know. I found the sounds of the night fascinating. Right. I wonder what's taking the Rahaga so long. I mean, how hard is it to get directions? Well, when they're to a creature that has not been seen since the time before time, hard. Really? Oh, have patience, Matau. Yeah, take it easy, Matau. Take it easy. I have absolutely no patience for looking like this. <sighs> We've already wasted a whole night. The way I see it, the faster we get to the... <sighs> Great temple. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Norik! Gagi! Norik! Destruction! Where are you guys? Gagi! Norik! Where are you? The Rooney! Norik! Are you all right? Nuju, can you see anything? What do you see? I can't see anything. <sighs> there he is! He's over there! <coughs> He's trapped! Stand back! Nor, what happened? What should we do? I wish Kama was here. <coughs> he... was. Sidorak. I am no simple Toa. Haughty girl. Why have you come here? To join you. And to present you with proof of my worth. Come. No. Let's talk. Akama would never do such a thing. Right? Uh, you are correct, Nokama. The Vakama you know would not. He's changed. Just as you all will, if we do not find Kitongu. I fear Vakama has given himself completely to the beast that lurks within us all. The ancient. Primal. The parts of ourselves we like to think progress has made us forget. Hordika is its name. I don't think I want to be Hordika. It's not all bad, Huenua. Not if you don't allow it to be. Being Hordika grants you certain gifts. Assuming you're right, we must find Kitongu and rescue the Matoran before the beast overcomes us too. Yes. But I must warn you, Bakama may already be beyond anything even Kitongu can do. Well, we have to try. We owe the Fire Spitter that much. And I was kind of hard on him. And if you can't help him? Leave that to me. So, back to searching. 
We were able to translate much of the inscription before Vakama's attack. Follow the falling tears to Ko Metru until they reach the sky. It is there we will find Kitongo. Tears that reach the sky? It's not much of a plan, but it is one. Nothing to me. It did once. It can again. That's true. It can. If you want to be weak again. Never. You are everything I had hoped you'd be. Come. It's time you had a glimpse of your future. We must hurry. As the Toa Hordika followed the trail of falling tears, Nonic was sure that it would lead them to the legendary Kitongu. As our brave hero struggled through a most treacherous journey across the island of Metronui, the shadow of the Viserac Horde was never far behind. As the noble group followed the stream of tears to Cometro, the deserts turned into great mountains of frozen protodermis, and its silvery surface led the brave travelers to a strange and wondrous place. Ah, oh, oh, the tears! They do reach the sky! The throne will soon be yours, Vakama. Go ahead. Touch it. You can look, Vakama. But don't touch. I wanted to thank you personally. Because of you, the Rahaga will be put where they belong. In a cage. It is just the beginning of what he can offer you. Is that so? It is, my king. Vakama is my gift to you. A fitting master for your horde. <laughs> There's only one of him. Which is why the other Toa are on their way here. With Fakama leading your horde, they will be captured and trained just like him. Will all six be enough to please you? Hmm. A fine offer, Rudaka. Consider it an engagement gift. Huh. Well then. <laughs> Allow me to introduce you to the Horde. You know, Vakama, we're really very much alike, you and I. That was a compliment, Vakama. Oh, thank you, my king. Uh, think nothing of it. Such is the generosity of my rule. My horde is an obedient one. They will do anything you command. Unless I command differently, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Good. <laughs> now then. Behold. The Viserac Hall. Perhaps you'd like to say a few words? Hurry, you 
you guys, it's amazing! It's Kitongu! Not. <laughs> Don't be so quick to judge, Matto. We are sorry to disturb your rest, noble one. But the duty of these Toa require they ask for your help. Okay. Well, we'd like to stay and chat, but <laughs> we gotta go. Huh? <laughs> Everyone seeing this? Find out. Yes, a night of great consequence falls. Be ready before it is over. Many things will change. Hmm. How is the hog for common? Obedient and ready. And then we were chased by the Viserac, all of which is why we came here and why we need your assistance. Will you help us get Vakama back? No. Well, thanks just the same. We'll be going then. Kitongu cannot start a battle on your behalf. But he can aid those loyal to the three virtues. In fact, Doing so is his sworn duty. So, he'll change us back into our good-looking Toa hero selves? No. Ah. Kitongu sees with one eye what we have missed with all of ours. If you are to save Akama, you must use your new forms and abilities, not be rid of them. So, we've come all this way just to find out we didn't have to come all this way! <laughs> he thinks it's funny, too. <laughs> all right! Funny! That's what I was thinking. But your story and devotion to your friend has touched Kitongu. He finds your quest worthwhile. And? And he would like to offer us his help. Unity! <laughs> you too, big guy.
Wakama. You don't need them anymore. You've made a grave mistake coming here! We came here to save you! The only ones you can save now are yourselves! Bow down and pledge your allegiance to me! <clears throat> and to Sidorak! And when we don't... I will make you! This is gonna work? Aim! Ask me again in a minute. Ah, uh, no coma! That sound. What is that? I guess it's Kitongu. But Kitongu doesn't exist. Obviously, you're wrong about that. <laughs> I'll take care of him. No, Vakama. It is not your place. It is that of a king. Um, if Kitongu wasn't a myth before, he soon will be. Stay here. And be ready. is with us! We're here to rescue the Matoran! The Matoran? You remember, don't you?
almost impressed. What's that? No... I mean, shouldn't we be certain? If doing so would make you feel better. It would. to you you know outside the obvious <laughs> Final blow is yours, Rudaka. Where are you going? <clears throat> Finish him. You do it. But I can't defeat him myself. I know. Without Kama, we are destined to fail. Find a wheel in the hand. <gasps> Right, Makama. I am weak. So, at the end, you see the truth. We all make mistakes, Makama. That's what happens when you're brave enough to make decisions. 
I understand that now. I don't believe that coming from you. Wait! Not for long. I'm sorry for doubting you. Our strength comes from our unity, Bakama. Which means you can't be strong without us. I'm better and stronger alone. I don't believe that. And I don't think you do either. You're our leader, Bakama. You're my leader. We've got a job to do. A, a duty. The Matoran. Rescuing them is our destiny. It's your destiny. And if there's any of the Vakama I know left, he'll know what to do next. Mato, don't! <laughs> There's too many of them. What do we do now? something I want. Your elemental powers. Earth, stone, ice, water. Fire already belongs to me. Wait, one's missing. That would be air. <laughs> it is all yours, my queen. Thank you, Vakama. Now, about those powers. You want them so bad? Take them! <laughs> Who fired the tickle spinner? Fools! You, like your powers, are nothing if you are not united! And as Vakama stands with me... Actually, I wanted to talk to you about that. You might defeat me, Vakama, but not all of them! Strike me down and they will surely destroy you and your friends! Think about it. I have. And seeing as you convinced Sidorak to put me in charge of them... Get out of here! All of you! You're free! <laughs> That's an order. Traitors! You 
can't betray someone you're enslaved to. And to think I thought you could be king. I lead only those that choose to follow. That's the difference between being a leader and a tyrant like you. A certain Toa taught me that. Mama, you have no idea what you've just done. Her heartstone, it's Makuta's. Yes, carved from the same protodermis you sealed the Makuta with. In destroying it, you've broken that seal. I know, and set Makuta free. Hmm. For some reason, he doesn't scare me anymore. to know why you would want that being as you've made peace with the beast within that you might even be the better for it it's our destiny to be Toa and to keep our promise to the Matoran then so will you be Let's get all of you to safety. Hmm. Put you back into it, brothers! <laughs> Let's not crash it this time. Hey! Well, my friend, I guess this is it. Thank you. You are most welcome, Vakama. But it's me that should be thanking you. I don't understand. <laughs> it's not every day I get to see a legend come true, you know. <laughs> Oh, yes, Norik. He is quite a sight. Indeed. But I wasn't talking about Kitongu. The Great Rescue. Yes. And now we know that the Matoran are in most capable hands. Your hands.
can't stop Matanui! The Makuda! He is gone. Not for long. I imagine we'll be seeing him again very soon. And when we do? We'll find a way to defeat him. Because that's what Toa do. I was right. Makuto would follow us here and threatened to cast our new world and all who came to call it home into everlasting shadow. It was in those days I discovered our destinies are not written in stone. We have to find them for ourselves. I found mine. Now it's time for you to make new legends. For that is the way of the Bionic.